In this video, we want to learn about properties of determinants. The first property is that if we have upper triangular, lower triangular, or diagonal matrices, determinant of such matrices is always equal to the product of the elements of the main diagonal. Let me show you an example. Consider this matrix for negative 3, 7, 0, 2, 1, 0, 0, 5. This matrix is upper triangular because all the elements below the main diagonal, note that these are the elements of the diagonal. This is the main diagonal. All the elements below the diagonal of this matrix are 0. And so this matrix is upper triangular. And when we have upper triangular or lower triangular or diagonal matrices, determinant of such matrices, determinant of matrix A is equal to the product of the elements of the main diagonal. So you don't need to use the regular formula of the determinant of the matrix. Simply multiply these elements and that is the determinant of this matrix. So determinant of the matrix A is 4 times 2 times 5. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40. So determinant of this matrix is 40. Let me show you another example. Consider this matrix. Matrix B is 7, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, negative 1. This is a diagonal matrix because only the elements of the main diagonal are non-zero and the, all the elements above the main diagonal and below the diagonal are zero, so this is a diagonal matrix. And so determinant of this matrix, determinant of the matrix B is the product of these elements, 7, times 5 times negative 1, which equals negative 35. Let me show you an example of a lower triangular matrix. Consider this 4 by 4 matrix. 1, 0, 0, 0. Negative 2, 3, 0, 0. 0, 5, 2. And the last row is 3, 1, 0, 5, for example. This is lower triangular matrix because all the elements above the main diagonal, the main diagonal is this, 1, 3, 2, 5. All the elements above the main diagonal are 0, so this is a lower triangular matrix. And determinant of this matrix, determinant of the matrix C, is 1 times 3 times 2 times 5. 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 5 is 30. This is how you can find determinant of upper triangular, lower triangular, or diagonal matrices. Simply multiply the elements of the main diagonal. The next property that we want to learn here is that if we transpose a matrix, determinant of the matrix doesn't change. So the next property is that if we have a matrix, say, A, determinant of the matrix A is equal to determinant of the transpose of the matrix A. Let me show you an example. Let's try the 2 by 2 matrix. 3, 1, 4, 5. Determinant of the matrix A is 3 times 5, 15. 1 times 4, 4. 15 minus 4 is 11. We know how to find determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. 3 times 5 minus 1 times 4. Now let's find the transpose of this matrix. We know that for finding the transpose, simply we have to make the rows columns. In the transposed matrix, 
the rows of the original matrix are columns. 3, 1 is the first row, so we make it the first column. The next row is 4, 5, we make it the next column. The determinant of this matrix, the determinant of A transpose, is 3 times 5, 15. 1 times 4 or 4 times 1 is 4, 15 minus 4 is 11. As you can see, these two numbers are the same. So when we transpose a matrix, the determinant doesn't change. The next property is that if we multiply two matrices by each other, A times B, the determinant of A times B is equal to the determinant of A times by the determinant of the matrix B. Note that for sum or difference of two matrices, we don't have such property. The determinant of A plus B is not equal to the determinant of A plus the determinant of B. We don't have such property for the matrices in general. And also the determinant of A minus B is not equal to the determinant of A minus the determinant of B. But if we multiply two matrices, say those matrices are A and B, the determinant of A times B is equal to the determinant of A times by the determinant of B. But for sum or difference of two matrices, we don't have such property. Let me show you an example of this property. Suppose matrix A is 2, 3, negative 1, 5, and matrix B is 7, 10, 5, 7. And we are asked to find determinant of A times B. For finding determinant of A, B, first we can multiply the matrix A in the matrix B, and then we can find the determinant of that matrix. But multiplying two matrices, even for two by two matrices, is a bit hard. It needs a little calculation. The easier way that we can find the determinant of A times B is using this relation. We know that in general, the determinant of a b is equal to determinant of a times determinant of b and so based on this we can find simply determinant of a determinant of b and then multiply those numbers by each other what is the determinant of this matrix 2 times 5 minus 3 times so 2 times 5 minus 3 times negative 1 we have to multiply this by the determinant of the other one. 7 times 7 minus 10 times 5. This equals 13. And the other one is negative 1. Because 47 minus 50 is negative 1. And this equals negative 13. So as you can see, you can use this relation for solving these type of questions. Let me show you another example of this property. We are given matrix A, a 3 by 3 matrix with these elements. 3, 1, 2, 0, 4, 1, 0, 0, negative 5. And the matrix B is 2, 0, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 2, 2. And we are asked to find determinant of A times B transpose. For finding determinant of A times B transpose, we can first transpose the matrix B to find B transpose, and then we have to multiply A but the transpose of this matrix, which is a bit hard because it's a 3 by 3 matrix multiplied by another 3 by 3 matrix, it needs some calculations. And then we can find the determinant of that matrix. The easier way 
is to use the above properties. First, based on the property that we learned here, determinant of the multiplication, the product of two matrices is equal to determinant of the first matrix times by determinant of the other matrix. Based on this property, we can say that determinant of A times B transpose equals to determinant of the first matrix A times by determinant of the second matrix B transpose. But if you remember from the properties that we learned in this video, determinant of transpose of any matrix, determinant of this matrix, the transpose of this matrix is equal to determinant of the original matrix, determinant of B transpose is equal to determinant of B. So you don't need to even transpose this matrix. Find determinant of matrix B and determinant of B transpose is the same number. We learned this in this video. This is one of the properties of determinant. So now only we have to find determinant of A and determinant of B. But note that the matrix given here, the matrix A, is upper triangular. And we know that when we have upper triangular matrices, determinant is simply multiplication of the elements of the diagonal of the matrix. So we have to only multiply 3 by 4 by negative 5. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. This is the determinant of A. Determinant of the matrix B is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And finally, this equals negative 480. So as you can see, by using the properties of determinants, sometimes you can answer questions faster and easier. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.